Welcome back, guys. I'm Constant Fox, and I'm here with my 55 gallon aquarium. This is an update from the last time you guys saw it, and as you can see already, there has been a significant change. Like, look at this. Nothing is the same as you guys last saw, except for that that piece of wood and those rocks, that rock. And I did move that one rock backwards a little bit. See, it's now back there. I have, I now have a um, crocodile rhino pleco and a school of twenty-two cardinal tetras, which for some reason are hanging out in the corner here. I do not know why. I guess it's just because they just woke up not too long ago. Because their light just came on not too long ago. But the minnows are doing fine. The cardinal tetras are doing fine. I may get more of them. But there's an extensive list of fish I want to stock this tank with. It just depends on how crowded the tank looks when uh, it's fully stocked. But we took that piece of wood out that was right here and replaced it with this rock. The wood's now in my 33, which I will show you guys in a different video. <sighs> the crawdads are also in the 33 now. And they were growing pretty well in here, and they didn't harm any of the fish. Uh, we got some Ludwigia. I don't know which species, and all I know is it's the half red, half normal. Obviously, because red, normal. And this one is supposedly the normal Ludwigia species, and we got some crypt. Pretty sure it's some super red crypt, I don't really know. I don't remember. We got some Italian Val here, sprouting some runners, one. And if you look really closely there, the, there's another one starting. We got more of that uh, Ludwigia from over on the other side of the tank, see? Looks the same. Then you got some Comba, just starting to wake up for the day, and how I know that, it's this bulge. By mid, by about 12 o'clock or like 1 o'clock, this will open up in a big fan, and it looks really cool. And as you guys can tell already, the uh, um, Marble Queen Amazon sword or whatever it was, is no longer there because it died out because I'm I'm dumb I'm stupid I didn't have any fertilizers in the tank to keep the uh, uh, plants full of nutrients now I do I'm using uh, these flourish tabs I'm using these uh, flourish tabs by Seachem See, flourish tabs, root tabs, they work perfectly fine, I mean this tank, I haven't really had any real problems with the plants since. The minnows do not harm the tetras, and actually, every occasionally, the minnows will school up, like, there will be nothing n left, no stragglers. They would all school up right there above this rock. And then they, sooner or later, they'd fall in on the tetras and they'll both be going back and forth through the tank like the tetras do. And you'll see this school of about like 50 fish going back and forth. A mix between cardinals and minnows. The minnows don't really harm the tank at all and actually they seem to benefit it. I mean, they just wander around. I mean, look at this. And they've grown more let's see if we can't get an up close shot of a few of these and then we're just going to do this where are you at minnow there we go there we go some shots of the minnows Shots the Cardinal Tetras.
and then I can't zoom in and it won't let me. Oh well. Off they go again to this side. Very happy. Happy, happy fish. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end this video for now. Uh, be advised, this video is actually months, like months, months after the last video. But they will be released around the same time, because I just haven't uploaded the last video, so. Till next time, guys. Stay furry.